Are you ready to move through darkness into light? Metaphorically, from whatever you have been into more hopefulness, into more positivity. Today is the second Sunday of Advent and the focus will be, in good tradition, peace. I'm reading some history and uh, classic Advent celebrations of Christmas are related to Christianity, I think. And uh, they talk about the prophets of the Old Testament and an honoring to them and a topic of peace. So today I will show you my way home, some beautiful scenery from this beautiful city that we're from, Oslo, Oslo in Norway. Then you'll end up here, home where I live. And uh, here we will light a candle together for peace and this new topic that we are going to explore. Enjoy.
Welcome to my home. I hope you enjoy that last part. Now we are going to do a fire ritual. We're gonna put a candle on fire. <laughs> We're gonna light it. And by the way, it's minutes until it's midnight, so we'll barely do this at Sunday. If you participate any day after, you are energetically present here on this Sunday. And uh, there is only one question to consider before I'm going to light the candle for and with you. Which switch would you like to turn on in your life? This candle will be lit for that, metaphorically, symbolically, serendipitously, lovingly, as a ritual. It's a way of honoring the things that actually matter for us. So I hope you have picked one thing that you would like to light this candle for. The basic vibe here is peace, because this week is going to be flavored with the sensation of peace. I need some peace now, I've been out all day and uh, I'm glad I got to make this video before the day turned. <laughs> so now I'm gonna switch the camera and we're gonna light the candle. Enjoy, because this candle is going to be lit for peace. The first candle that is burning is for the first Sunday of Advent, which represent um, hope and uh, God's people according to biblical tradition and uh, This is just a basic setup here by the way uh, when I do a ceremony I like to put a little bit of effort uh, into my surroundings So now Bring forth in your mind to your attention. What am I lighting this candle for? For you. You choose. Now, as you become aware in your mind about what you want this candle to be lit for, bring that sensation down to your heart. Let it be like a drop of honey that seeps down into your heart. And this will be a candle for peace, a candle, a light for you and for your desire, for what you want to be. And it is done. Let it be so. And thank you. Oh no, ah, look at that. There is so little peace in the world. Oh no, it's hard to get peace going. What should we do? We gotta try again. Well, this is cool. You get another chance. Isn't that cool? And actually, the fifth light in the middle is supposed to be lit on Christmas Day. Uh, it represents uh, Christ consciousness or Jesus Christ, according to traditions. I'm not a Christian, Christian as I've said, but I respect uh, religious uh, traditions and ceremonies. Okay, so again, this is interesting. Do you think we will have peace during these times in the world? Do you think we can have peace? That you can get the illumination you want? Oh, that's beautiful. Come on now, little cute flame. Oh no. Let's, let's hope that this flame for peace will continue. To burn and that it will get what it needs to burn bright and beautifully. This happens virtually never. Kind of interesting. I, I don't look at things as coincidences. So for me, there is a uh, certain 
correlation to my own energy and this light. And because I'm facilitating this space for you, energetically, if you'd like to call it that, there is certainly some slower intentions, things that may have had re resistance in the past, things that you may have to release your resistance about, use your switch if you learned from yesterday's uh, advent calendar video you probably have discovered a couple or at least one emotional portal use your emotional portal to go from where you are emotionally and trigger at least the next step and that's really what all we can do is the next step this light is burning for you and it's getting stronger metaphorically significant enjoy life i hope you're having a great night and a great morning and a great day remember tomorrow we're going to just broadcast peace that's all it's going to be about for this week ease peace and flow now remember your light is shining it's burning for you it's representing something metaphorically within you now when you get that inspirational inner nudge that inner tuition, that intuition, do not think it, overthink it, don't try to dissect it or judge it. When you feel inspiration and you feel a certain nudge from within, a pull, a drawing towards, I recommend that you just follow it. Do what inspires you and love, do what you love and love what you do. And you will see what amazing things come true in your life. That is my own experience. I hope you will get uh, your own experience as well. I am obviously ready to sleep. <laughs> Starting this new week. Enjoying every moment I can. So good night and have a blessed day.